uh, that prophetic word just opened up a new uh, grace, a new anointing for me to write. So I love the prophetic. It will it will stretch you, activate, impart, release, um, keep moving in the prophetic people, keep prophesying, keep receiving the prophetic word of the Lord. I've been doing a lot of prophesying on this broadcast. Um, I've been stirring myself up to prophesy. I'm going to do it again today as we talk about the eye, the eye. And um, here's a verse, interesting verse, Proverbs 22 and 9. It says this. Whosoever has a bountiful eye will be blessed for he shares his bread with the poor. A bountiful eye. Now, some translations say he who is generous or he who is given to generosity or he who is benevolent. So the bountiful eye is an Hebrew idiom that represents generosity. It's a Hebrew idiom found in the word of God that represents generosity, the bountiful eye. Um, this particular verse offers a profound insight into the virtue of generosity. The phrase bountiful eye is particularly striking and poetic. It suggests not merely the act of giving, but an outlook or perspective that constantly seeks opportunities to bless others. I want you to get this. Let me say it again. Uh, this, this particular phrase, bountiful eye, is particularly striking and poetic. It suggests not merely the act of giving, but an outlook or perspective that constantly seeks opportunities to bless others. A bountiful eye implies a mindset that is attentive and sensitive to the needs of others. It's an eye that sees beyond one's own circumstances and looks outward, actively searching for ways to make a positive impact. This kind of generosity is not uh, sporadic or reactive, but is embedded in one's character and daily practice. And I, I this, this, this phrase, bountiful eye, shows us that the Hebrews or the scriptures look at the eye as more than just a, 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 an organ of seeing something in the natural. Jesus talked about the evil eye. He said that, that if your eye is evil, your, 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 rather if your eye is good, your whole body is full of light. If your eye is evil, your whole body is full of darkness. That is interesting that darkness and light are connected to the eye. Now we know that darkness and light physically are connected to the eye because when you, when you open your eyes, you see light. Light comes through your eye. When you, when you cut off the lights, you don't see anything. It's dark. But that applies spiritually. And so the scriptures look at the eye or the eyes and not just what you see uh, physically, not just an organ of sight, but the eyes actually are a picture of the character, the morality, the integrity, the generosity. It is actually a picture of a person's inward, inward, uh, their inward character, the eyes, a picture of your inward character, a symbol of your inward character, whether it's good or bad, an evil eye, a bad eye, a good eye, a bountiful eye. And so your eyes are very important, what they represent spiritually, how you perceive things, how you look at things. Some, some translations uh, interpret the evil eye as being envious, being jealous, or the evil eye of, as being selfish or stingy. A bountiful eye is being generous, uh, being benevolent, looking out for the needs of others, being compassionate, a giving. We should pray for a bountiful eye. We're going to do that today. Praying for a bountiful eye is about asking for the grace to develop the generous perspective. Uh, it's a request for the ability to notice those who might be overlooked, to have the empathy, to understand the needs and willingness to act in a way that brings relief and joy. Such a prayer 
aligns one's heart with a continual readiness to share and support others, fostering a community where kindness and generosity are prevalent. So the eye represents kindness. It represents compassion. It represents generosity. It represents integrity. It represents a good moral character. When you have a good eye, when you have a bountiful eye, when you have a generous eye. As a matter of fact, generosity is also a picture of character. The righteous are generous. The righteous are benevolent. People that are unrighteous tend to be selfish and stingy. Uh, selfishness and stinginess is a sign of bad character. It's a sign of a bad heart. From the abundance of the heart, uh, what comes out comes from the heart. Evil things come from the heart. And so generosity, kindness, grace, giving, compassion. Giving is more than just giving an offering or blessing someone. It's more than that. Um, people sometimes don't understand the power of giving and what it represents. You show me a stingy, selfish person, I'll show you someone that does not have a good heart. You show me a kind, benevolent, generous person, I'll show you a person with a good heart, full of light. The light of the body is the eye. If you have an evil eye, you're stingy, you're selfish, you have no love, no compassion, no mercy. You don't, you don't, you overlook the poor. Here's an interesting verse of scripture. Um, it, it says that he that closes his eyes to the poor shall have many a curse. It's, it's Proverbs 28 and 27. It says, he that giveth unto, unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. Or he that turns his eyes away from the poor, he that shuts his eyes to the poor, he that closes his eyes to the poor, he does not, he that does not see the poor, does not recognize the poor. Again, it's with the eye. Uh, it says, you'll have many a curse. And so giving to the poor, having a bountiful eye, being generous to the needy, seeing their needs, seeing their, their hurt, their pain, seeing their struggle, having an eye, not overlooking them, not overlooking people in need. That, that is a sign of a person who's full of light, your moral character. So today I want to pray for you and I want to pray for myself that I'll always have and you'll always have a bountiful eye. You'll always have a generous eye. You'll always have a compassionate eye. You'll always have an eye of love. You'll always have an eye that recognizes the needs and sees the needs of others. You'll always have an eye that does not overlook people does not ignore people, does not shut your eyes to people. And the Lord said, even as you open your eyes to the needs of others, I will open my hand to you. As you open your eyes and give to the needs of others, especially the hurting, the poor, those who are in trouble, those who need help, as you open your eyes to them, as you develop a bountiful eye, as you walk in generosity, as you walk in compassion, as you walk in benevolence, I will cause my grace and my blessing to pour upon you in ways you've never known before. And your, your body will be full of light. You'll walk in revelation. You'll walk in light. And remember that I am light and I am love. I am light and I am love. And when you walk in love and walk in generosity, you'll walk in light. You'll walk in revelation. You'll walk in understanding. You'll walk in insight. You'll walk in the, in the things of the spirit. And you will receive my blessings and my grace and my power shall rest upon you in ways you've never known before. So walk with the bountiful eye. Guard your eyes. Keep your eyes. Uh, uh, know the importance of your eyes, both naturally and spiritually. And do not operate in stinginess and selfishness with an evil eye, but have a good eye. Have a compassionate eye. Have a loving eye. Have a bountiful eye. Have an eye that recognizes the needs of others. And as you do, you'll see my grace. You'll see my blessing. You'll see my compassion coming on your life in ways that you've never known before. Father, I bless your people, Lord, and thank you for your our eyes being bountiful, our eyes being open, and our eyes being compassionate as we move in the things of the Spirit and bless others in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.